So guys, the Terra variant is back. So this mod, as I understand it, or I should say this package of mods, as I understand it, first came to the game in Farm Sim 15 as a paid DLC. In fact, I've got it right here um, on the screen. This is the uh, basically the DLC purchase page for Farm Sim 15. See, for $9.99, Got the Homer DLC, which included the Terra variant 600 Eco, as well as the Terra DOS Sugar Bead Harvester header and header trailer. And then we had the Auger Wagon, a Sugar Bead tank, a slurry applicator tank, a slurry applicator slash cultivator, and a manure spreader. All of that for $9.99. In Farm Sim 17. We had the Terra variant Homer pack. That was a that was a free mod supplied by Giants. Included the Terra variant here, as well as the manure spreader, auger wagon, slurry tank, and the um, sugar beet tank, as well as the uh, slurry applicator. See here. And then in Farm Sim 19, once again, we have the Homer DLC. Now this time around, it is a free DLC available for anyone to download that owns the game, PC or console. So if you have purchased the game either from Steam or from Giants directly, uh, you could go to the website here and download it for free. Put it in your mods folder, put it in your DLC folder. Should work in either location. If you do have it from Steam, just note, it may have already downloaded and installed for you uh, if you have Steam Auto Update enabled uh, because it is a free DLC, so Steam may just take it upon themselves to, uh, to download it for you. Now, what's included in the free DLC pack for Farm Sim 19? Well, we have two different variants of the Terra variant. We have the 435, which is a dedicated self-propelled slurry tanker. And then we have the Terra Variant 585, more of a mobile platform module, or a mobile platform configuration, that's what I want to say. And then as far as attachments for the mobile platform, we've got the Auger Wagon, the Grain Tank GB25. We have the Multi Tank MB35. Then we have a Manure Spreader and a Slurry Tank, as well as two different applicator options. We've got the... Vibro Gruber. Once again, we've got the cultivator slash slurry applicator. And then this time around, we also have a, I'm going to call this a drip boom. Uh, we have the slurry drip boom that allows us to get a bit more of a spread on our application. Let's take a little bit of a look at these here, just set up around uh, just for demonstration purposes and kind of for, um, not for demonstration, but for uh, to have them set out we've got our drip boom here the way this works is you back up your terra variant here to the back of this terra variant has a uh, three-point hitch on the back which the drip boom connects to right there and then you have your zunheimer i guess we'll call this the cultivator slurry applicator it uh Puts the slurry down and then it works it into the ground. Put that on the back. Got the manure spreader. Got the auger wagon here. Got the multi bin for sugar beets, potatoes, and I believe the icon also shows it works with straw and hay. And then I think it also works with wood chips also. And we have a separate slurry applicator or tank. If you're going to use the Homer variant 585, which is just the mobile platform here. And that's pretty much the pack. So what I've got 
is I've got lots of these things set up to demonstrate here in a little bit. But before we demonstrate them, I wanted to take a look at them here in the shop. So there's a couple of different ways you could look at these in the shop. The easiest way with respect to a lot of the equipment is to just go to Brands, go to Homer. Scrolling over here, and you can see that we have the Terra variant 435, 585, and then we have the auger wagon and the multi tank. Other attachments are, you're going to have to find under different brands because they are technically uh, different. Well, they're different brands. Let's take a look here at the Terra variants first. Other place that you can find these is under vehicles and miscellaneous. We have the Terra variant 435, which is basically a self propelled slurry tank. Okay. We have a choice of color on our tank. We can go yellow or gray. 24 miles per hour is top speed. 16,000 liter capacity on this particular tank, as is indicated by the number printed on the tank, and 435 horsepower. You have three configuration options. You can do standard wheels, wide tires, or narrows. And the standard price is $381,500, $19,456 to lease, $3,815 per day, and $8,011 per operating hour. No one could tell you that this stuff is not expensive. Then we have the Homer Terra Variant 585. It's a bit more at $387 and $500 to buy. 19,762 to lease, 3,875 per day, and $8,137 per operating hour. And you know what? All you get is a self propelled platform in which to attach other things to. So that is a very, very expensive buy in just for a mobile platform. But as we'll see, there are some attachments that do make sense. To, uh, to use because they are cheaper than their standalone options. But again, it is a pretty big buy-in to, uh, to get into this particular platform. Once again, this 585 has a top speed of 24 miles per hour, 585 horsepower this time around, and we have the same tire options of standard, wide, or narrow. Now, look at the attachments. Say, let's first look at auger wagons, where we have the Homer grain tank, holds 25,000 liters of product, holds all of our standard grains, so it holds our wheat, our canola, our barley, our oat, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, seed, and fertilizer, just as all the other um, auger wagons do. Now, this one is, as I said, just 25,000 liter capacity, $64,900. Take a look here at the grain cart 851. It holds 30,000 liters and it's $59,000. Of course, you need a tractor to pull that. You're going to be able to find a tractor that's going to pull that for a lot less, $385,000. Then we have the Homer multi tank. For $78,500, it holds 35,000 liters, and it is actually the only auger wagon that will accept wood chips, sugar beets, potatoes, hay, and straw. Interesting of those different products. So if you're a big sugar beet or potato harvester, then the Homer pack and the Homer multi-tank may be something of use to you because of the high yield of those products and the convenience of basically being able to run a uh, an auger wagon, if you will, between the harvester and a semi sitting alongside the field. Jump over here to manure spreaders. We have the Annenberger Manure Spreader XM3, $31,000, working speed of 12 miles per hour, 24 meter working width, and a capacity of 17,400 liters. Compare that to the Kuhn here, which only holds 15,000 liters, 180 horsepower requirement, and is $54,000. So it is significantly more expensive 
and holds less product and only has a working width of 10 meters. So this particular module is quite a good deal comparative to the other standalone implements within its classification. Jump down here to slurry tanks. See the last option we have is the Zunheimer PV585 for $70,000. Now this one holds 21,000 liters. So this is a little bit bigger uh, capacity than the self-propelled version of the uh, the Homer Terra variant that includes this. Once again, we can change our tank from yellow to gray. $70,000 to buy this. $3,570 to lease. $700 per day and $1,470 per operating hour. Now, if you go into this particular applicator or uh, tank, I should say, it's not an applicator, it's just a transport tank. You're going to need to pick up one of the two modules that's going to go on the back of this. So you're not done at $70,000, but let's compare this to some of the other tanks here in the pack, or in the game, I should say. So you have the Samson PG220, holds 20,000 liters and is $93,000. So compared to that, this is a pretty good deal, saving you 20 grand, get an extra 1,000 liter capacity. Um, and both, you're going to have to buy additional attachments to. So for manure and slurry, the Homer Terra variant is a decent deal. If you ignore the fact that you got to buy the mobile platform, but at 585 horsepower, let's take a look. Where are we at as far as tractors go in that 585 horsepower range? Well, let's see here. Are basically above, well, the 585, we're basically above the 380 some thousand dollar uh, purchase price to get into the tractor. But I tell you, the, you know, the tractor you're going to be able to use for a lot more manure spreading, slurry spreading, and hauling grain and sugar beets around. So, so you've got that. Take a look at the options here. We have the drip boom that I'm calling it the Glide Fix 15, 10 miles per hour working speed, 15 meters working width, $32,800. And then you have the Vibro Gruber, 10 miles per hour working speed, 6.2 working width, and as far as 100 horsepower. But you know what? You can only use this on the Terra variant, which has five times that horsepower. I think you're good. 34,800 to buy, 1,774 to lease, 348 per day, and 730 per operating hour. Now, now we've given this grand overview of all of these products. I've got them set up to, to use and demonstrate. So let's go ahead and jump on over to that. First up, we have the Terra Variant 585 here with the multi-bin. I've got it full of sugar beets. And I will have to tell you that this thing threw me for a loop. I was confused for a good 10 or 15 minutes on what was going on with this thing. Because at the first, I couldn't get it to fill. thought it might be broke. Then I stumbled upon a solution, and I want to make sure I show this to you guys. If I had a problem with it, then others might also have a problem with it. I wanted to demonstrate this. So just like the Homer um, Sugar Beet Harvester, you've got your, your belt chute on the side here that basically just lifts the product up and out onto the, uh, the semi-trailer. An interesting animation where the belts are basically bringing the product to the middle and then taking the product out. It's pretty cool. Fold this up. Let's fold this in. So this is how you get it when you buy it. Okay. I should say, this is how you get it. When you... Okay, so when you buy it, you get it like that. You need to back your platform up and hit connect. Now, let me show you something. 
I didn't realize that you had to unfold this module. So I came over here, pulled it up underneath this, and it didn't unload. And I tried all kinds of different things. Unfolded the pipe here, thinking, well, maybe the pipe was in the way. Tried all different angles, distances, nothing helped. Then I accidentally hit X. Unfold. Accidentally hit X. Apparently this needs to be folded in. You have to unfold the bin. And then it works. So, if you're trying to fill this thing up and it won't take, bring the pipe in, then hit X to unfold this little side panel. Extend it out a little bit, and then it takes it. That I was I was struggling for about 10 minutes trying to figure this thing out. And just by accident, if you will, I can't I kind of stumbled across this. So I had the uh I had the pipe folded, and then I basically hit X, kind of just trying random things, and all of a sudden it unfolded, and then it started to fill. That. Disconnect from that. And over here in the wheat field, I have the grain auger wagon. Let's connect to that. While we're driving over here, let's go ahead and check out the interior. The one thing I kind of wish is you can see the uh, little camera here, the little TV monitor. It has a screenshot as if we had the uh, cultivator attachment back, which we don't. So I kind of wish that uh, kind of wish that was somehow dynamic, and that it basically properly reflected what we had attached to it as opposed to that static image. Hey, if we turn this thing off first. Jump out. Jump in. Or 35 actually has mirrors fold. Jump over here to the 435. This is interesting. The 435, the mirrors fold out and in. But the 585, let's go over here and look at this one. Other than the ladder, the ladder is the only thing that animates in the 585. So that's kind of an interesting um, difference between the two. Turn it on. We'll take a look and see that our Lights here under the uh, the steering wheel light up when we turn it on, but they do not stay lit. And when we toggle the lights on and off, they don't come on at the steering wheel indicator. You have an animated throttle and an animated brake pedal. Take a look here at the top. We do have a dash that lights up, and then we do have some light indicators come on with respect to our lights. Side panel does light up also. Hit our lights. And speaking of our lights, let's take a look. We've got our first stage lights. We've got second stage lights, which include some surround lighting. We have third stage lighting. All kinds of lights. This thing thoroughly lights up. So here we have the auger wagon variant, 25,000 liter capacity. Pipe out. Left mouse button to change the angle on the chute. And we do have a light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. Light on the end of the chute here. Unloads pretty quick. But again, as I showed in the store, it's kind of an expensive option uh, to invest into of the price of some of the other auger wagons. 
nothing to unfold here. You just pull up and it will then fill as you would expect. Okay. Now, I've got the manure spreader and the slurry tank over here on the other side of the sugar beet field. So let's run over here real quick. Put those in. While we're driving over here, let me uh, let me just bring up what do you guys think so far of the Homer pack? Uh, did you use this stuff in Farm Sim 15? Those that have played Farm Sim for longer than uh, just the 19 release, did you use it in Farm Sim 17? It was available for all of those platforms. I'll tell you that I was never really a big fan of this. Didn't really see much purpose in it. But, you know, several ways to play. So, here we have the manure spreader. I've already got it loaded up with manure. Hold it. Turn it on. And off we go. Pretty decent working width. Pretty decent capacity and working speed for this thing. already invested in it for other things and this is definitely a good deal because of the price of the manure spreader as compared to other spreaders within its capacity range. Cue to disconnect. I will say one thing that I kind of wished they would model in is the legs um, when you connect they just vanish and when you disconnect they just pop in they just show up what I'd like to see is more of a, a animated folding action where the legs remain visible then when they're attached they're just folded up so you can see when we hit connect Legs just vanish. Hit disconnect, the legs show back up. Kind of wish you would see them fold up out of the way. Here we go. We've got uh, that one. You can see we have hose hookups for this connection. Big hose at the top. And there's a couple different ways you can fill this thing. So we could just pull up here beside the tr the truck here. See, we hit R. Start filling it. Or we could also hit I. We could empty. Look at that. We could overload out of it. That is, that is also an option. And then if you are somebody that likes to... Uh, do a little role play, a little bit of uh, trying to pretend to be a little bit more realistic. Basically, left click and actually move the pipe over. Okay. And then basically try to get it lined up here on the uh, this tanker. Well, like so, and then you get it. Hit R. I think we're technically we would. I don't think we would be sucking it out that way. We'd probably be putting it in. At any rate. So. Then you left click. Pipe back.
Hold your applicator. Lower it down. Turn it on. And off you go. Applying your slurry while at the same time cultivating the ground. What's interesting with this particular applicator is I've got the uh, I've got it on, but you can see I'm not using any product when I'm stationary. The only time I'm using product is when I am actually moving. Kind of interesting. It's typically with slurry applicators are applying as soon as you turn it on until you turn it off. So if you turn it on and sit stationary, you're using product. But with this one, you're not. Turn that off. It up. Let's come back around here to our grip line. It's the last particular product we're going to uh, demonstrate in the Homer pack today. And this particular one, I've got the Y tires. Got Y tires configured for this one. Two up on our staging area where we had everything laid out. Had the narrows and we have the standard wheels up there. This one connected. run over here to our wheat field and apply the slurry to this one. Sadly, it looks like our, our drip line is warping through pipe here. Come together. I wish they wouldn't do that. Up. Let's lower the product down, the boom down. See that there's some nice animations there where the uh, the drip lines they compress when they make contact with the ground. That's pretty cool. Turn it on, and now we are actually applying product field. Depending on your your map. Will depend on what your textures will look like when you apply the uh, slurry or digestate. But unlike the cultivator option, when we come to a stop, we're still deploying product. Uh, take a look here at the uh, the drip lines as the uh, the implement kind of rocks back and forth. See that they are flexing. That's pretty cool. I don't think we had that capability or that uh, functionality. In the 17 version, um, because I don't think we had the drip line. I don't think the drip lines in 17 had that uh, had that flexing, that movement on the uh, the drip hoses. Just uh, don't remember it, but uh, I don't think it did. Hold it up. <clears throat> and there we go. So guys, that is the Homer DLC, now available over at Giants and on Steam and in your in-game mod hub. It's a free DLC from Giants, effective today, May 14th, 2019. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of the Homer pack? And as I asked earlier, did you use it in Farm Sim 17? Did you use it in Farm Sim 15? And more importantly... Are you going to use it in Farm Sim 19? Until next time, happy farming.